This is Dr. Alfred Miller, and this is video four in the series. This video deals with illnesses of neurodegenerative diagnoses in athletes in various occupations. There's an increased incidence of ALS in the National Football League players. There's an increased incidence of ALS in Italian soccer players. Intuitively, this is attributed to head trauma. I recently read an interesting book. The title is Thinking Fast and Thinking Slow, written by Daniel Kahneman, a Nobel uh, winner in economics. An example of thinking fast, which is intuitive thinking, a bat and a ball cost $1.20. The bat cost a dollar more than the ball. How much did the bat cost? Intuitively, most people will say the bat cost a dollar and the ball cost 20 cents. But with slow thinking, with deliberate thinking, the bat actually costs a dollar ten. The reason I make this issue is because intuitively the increased incidence of ALS in national football players and the increased incidence of ALS in Italian soccer players has been attributed to head trauma. However, the medical literature indicates that there's an increased incidence of ALS in Italian agricultural workers in the U.S. military, in golfers. In other words, individuals who are in grassy sports or in grassy occupations have an increased incidence of ALS and other neurodegenerative diseases. What do they all have in common? Grass. What's in the grass? Tick-borne diseases. A resident of Vermont has twice the national average incidence of developing multiple sclerosis. According to the CDC, Vermont, Vermont has the highest incidence of Lyme disease in the United States. The geographical distribution of neurodegenerative diseases in the United States and the geographical distribution of Lyme disease in the United States are identical. The maps can be superimposed. The point of this, ish, of this video is to encourage that any patient who has a neurodegenerative disease be properly tested for Lyme disease.